Okay, here we have a set of axes. Here we have the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis. The y axis is going into the page. Now, in order to watch this pro video properly, you need a pair of red cyan glasses. Now, so we can rotate this around, we can look at it from different angles. Now, if I click and put two points on, there they are, we have point P over here and point Q here. And the question is, how many planes will actually go through these two points? Well, if I click here, it will put one particular plane on, like that. Okay, and how many now planes can we actually get? Well, if we move the slider, we get different rotate different number of planes. So look, that's rotating it right through 180 degrees, and this is rotating it back round the other way, minus 180 degrees. So the answer to the problem is, of course, we can have an infinite number of planes. I'll just do it again from here. You can see the rotation now. So, so how many points do we actually need to define a plane? Well, if I click for third points, we now have a third point being put down around here at A. And if I can line this up, Okay, now at this particular point, I can see that I have got the plane going three, three points. Now there's only one plane that will go through those three points. And if I click this one here, I get the actual plane in its simplest form. So what we've got to remember is that, uh, sorry, this plane here, its equation minus 9x plus y plus 22z is equal to 63, is a multiple of this one. So, in order to define a plane, we must we need at least three different points, and that is worth remembering.